Oh yeah. Now look, the Legend of Korra produced great villains. Like look at these four straight 2017 warriors, not one miss, all menacing, and they were all really outside causing a problem. But the person I want to talk about is Kuvera and her fight against Korra. And I'm not gonna lie, the choreography in this fight is top tier. They're really up their game from the last airbender, and we're gonna see it here. Let's get into it. So it starts off with Kuvera turning to her whole ass army, telling them she gonna fight the Avatar one on one. I know they were just sitting there like, hey, fine by me, let's work for us, you got it. And I don't know who's more brave, Kuvera for running the ones against the Avatar in front of her whole ass army, or Korra for running the ones against Kuvera, with PTSD, poison in her body, and she hasn't walked for three years, she's rusty. Not gonna lie, I would have pulled up limping if I was Korra. Just in case if I lose, I could be like, nah, bro, you saw me out there. I wasn't 100%. I was injured. Straight AD. Even though limping wasn't a part of her current symptoms. So she throws Fire Blast as the opening attack. Kuvira dodges both of the attacks and ducks under the fire wave. And after seeing that, I already know it's over. Korra dealing with the straight vet because the way she's moving is too elite. We're really just 10 seconds into the fight and she's already inducted into Weave Nation. Easiest signing ever, welcome to the team. Just look at that lean back, that shit has half of her head out the frame. After she ducks under the other fire blast, she goes on offense. And my goodness, she cooked. She pulls a rock pillar out the ground to stop her punch and damn near dislocates her arm. Then she tucks a rock right at her abdomen and it leaves her wide open, allowing Kuvera to cuff her left arm and her gotcha, right bitch. leg and flips her over. Turned her ass into Sonic right in front of the whole crowd. This is embarrassing. And I just know Avatar Aang and Roku are in her head like, nah, you gotta get back. Do you see her? She moving around like Mike Tyson. You cannot let this shit slide. Aang is right. You're a shitty avatar. You spawn with the ability to use all elements. Just use her shit. Get your ass up and start boxing. She is not that nice. She gets ready for round two. And I just keep looking at that damn lesion she has in the background. She really just out here up in her coldness by a thousand. This shit is unfair. If you drop in the avatar in front of your army, bruh, you got it. You deserve to have the HUD 2 3 4 left face, right face ass soldiers. But let's get back into the fight. After that speech, she goes right back to getting cooked. Korra tries using her element, she rolls away, then backflips out of the air attack. And Korra could really box, like, look at her jumping off the rock and tries hitting her with the wind kick. And that's in a million dollar move, but she got no finishing. But I guess that happens when you're dealing with someone with 99 defense. And hold up, why does every dodge she do have some type of finesse to it? She reminds me of Goku versus Kefla and whoever the hell this is. Hitting this pose is the new indicator that you're cooking your opponent. Korra follows up with a fire kick, misses, and Kubera trips her. And she tries to do that one recovery animation that makes her look cold even though she got knocked down. But Kuvera knows ball. Can't make the opponent look cold in your moment. She shuts her down, making her eat dirt for the third time. She gets up to throw a fire blast and Kuvera's just like, eee. Then Korra rushes her, shows off her 40 inch vert just to miss. And at this point, it's just looking sorry. Korra dumbass started trick shotting with the bending abilities. Yeah, you could have just waved the white flag. You're clearly trolling. But look at this. Weave, weave. And then the last dodge, she hits him with the handsome Squidward. Uh. Now look at her face and look at the concentration when it's back to offense. She like, hmm, how can I embarrass her now? Ooh, I know. Catches a leg, makes her feel like Daredevil, and sends a rock to her chest. Yeah, this shit is not looking good. And it didn't make it any better when she took oh the metal slate God. off. I'm weak, she look like she about to cry. We see her POV, and I'm not gonna lie, this is crazy work. She's all stanced up with the army in the background, and they're not even cheering like they was before. They just staring at her like, Is them tears, bro? She gets up, throws fire at her, and she dodges that shit. Then she goes low, looking like a DJ, and dodges the next attack. And here, Korra misses so bad that Kuvera had to force a dodge to make herself look cold. Yeah, bro, you could have just stayed over there. Kuvera throws the metal slates at Korra, and for the first time in forever, Korra does not get cooked by it. She actually dodging, and she blocks the rest of it. Good job. But she gets a little too hyped for that. She jumps up, throws two air bending attacks just to miss, and Kuvera just like, Back the fuck Sending her falling down and dribbling off the ground. And you know what? I think I know why she's losing. It's because her moves are way too flashy. Look at this. She gets up, has a running start, and she jumps and turns her back to her. And all Kuvera had to do was turn her body to she dodge that up. dumbass attack. Korra tries to backhand her with fire. She dodges it. And look how quick and simple Kuvera's moves be. She makes her raise her left arm with the metal slate and tosses her ass away. Then she turns into a Timu Jedi and makes her fall straight into the ground. Nah, but really look at her. 
She really feeling herself. Uh -huh. And that smirk just as devious. And the way Korra smacked her to the ground, I'm surprised she ain't going to the Avatar state right there. But anyways, Kuvera tries to finish Korra off, but she hits the quick time event to roll away. Then she gets up and blocks Kuvera's attack and sends the fridge shape rock right at her. But Kuvera's like, you don't want this work. Stops the attack and sends it right back at her. I'm watching like, shit, this that real earth bending. Not that bullshit we saw in that shitty Avatar movie. Like, bro, why is there six people stomping and doing all this just to move a weak ass rock? Y'all really would have been better off just throwing that shit. What is that? And that attack took like 30 years. How does he even get hit with that, bro? You didn't see it floating to you in slow motion? All right, bro. Anyways, Korra tries holding that shit off and Kuvera just breaks it down, causing her to fall. Had her on all fours and she just standing over there like, I thought you were bad. You ain't bad! You ain't nothing! Shit got so bad that the people Korra was rolling with was like, Oh no, nah, we gotta jump her. But Korra told him nah. And I don't know why, cause she gets up and misses for the 80th time. Like bro, we are 6 minutes into the video and she has not landed a single hit. She's trash! And to make it worse, she gets embarrassed more. Look, Kuvera has her hitting the bringing around town. Got her looking goofy, completely rotated her ass like his character customization. Then she tries throwing a rock at her, and that shit is way off. And after that shitty miss, making her go 0 for 81, she's like, alright bro, it's time to pack you up. She puts a metal cuff to her right leg and scoops her up, had her looking like a gymnast on the balance beam. Korra falls to the ground, and we see Kuvera holding this as pose i don't even know why she's doing that she jumps at her and it's no bending or nothing she's just trying to stomp her out Korra accesses the avatar state which is basically when ang took the controls i know you see that air bending that gotta be him bro was watching Korra get his ass beat and was like no, fuck that! and started getting to work giving Korra her first hit in the fight and he's just like nah that's not enough goes up to her and sends her flying 50 feet back had her skipping on the ground and as she's laying there, I thought it was GG's. Started floating up with a tornado and brings a giant ass rock behind me. I was like, oh yeah, say goodbye, you're done. And this is where her shit just started glitching. Kuvera looks at her and Korra literally sees herself with glowing eyes. I'm crying, she thinks she's Steve from Minecraft beefing with Hero Brian. That shit kicks her out the avatar state, makes her fall, and now it's looking grim for Korra. But I want you to know that before the fight started, Kuvera was talking about some you can use the avatar state if you want, it don't matter. Yeah, she found out real quick that she's not built for this. Wasted zero time, she was not letting her get back into that state. Puts the metal slates to her arm and lifts her up. Leaves her dangling, then throws her right down. Then she traps her and now she's getting ready to end her. Yeah, I don't know why she thought she could get a whole execution off with Korra's friends sitting right there. Back your ass up. Sends her ass right into the army and then they pick her up and she just like, no, I thought this was ones. Jump them. Then they ran at him and started going crazy. All while Kuvera is standing there just watching. That's pretty much the fight. But I can't let it in there. So I'm gonna go over the get back real quick. Korra is breaking into where Kuvera is staying at. And instantly comes out and knocks out those two soldiers. Straight one shot. Then she looks at Kuvera and throws a fire blast at her. And I don't know why she's over there looking appalled. She just knocked out your two soldiers. You were next. In the next frame we see Kuvera locks back in and she dodges the next attack. Caught her ass hitting the dab too. Yeah, she clearly not taking Korra serious, but she will soon. She starts bending liquid metal and throws it at Korra. But right now, Korra is on a whole nother level. She stops it and throws the attack right back at her. Consolidates it and makes her hit into the wall. And now Kuvera is looking at her mad as hell. And you could just tell she's not used to getting cooked, but she gonna learn today. She gets up and runs at her and tries kicking her. But Korra hits this Spider-Man move to cleanly evade it. Lands, dodges two of Kuvera's metal slates, and blocks the giant metal thing she tries throwing at her. Ain't gotta be watching, proud as hell, cause she's really putting in all this work without even accessing the avatar state. Before she wasn't landing a single hit without it. She throws fire but Kuvera jumps up and lands on the platform, causing her to fly up and leave an imprint on the roof. Then she puts a seatbelt on her, starts dragging her across, then throws her away causing her to crash into the metal. And this final part of the scene is why it should be called Legend of Choreography. They started going crazy. Kuvera tries to snipe Korra, but she rolls out the way. Then she gathers all the liquid metal and makes that shit look like truth seeking orbs. But it doesn't matter cause Korra is too locked. She throws a fire blast, dodges the liquid metal, and look at what Kuvera tried to do. Nah. And look at Korra's face, she couldn't believe it. She tries to get back immediately throwing wind, then fire. 
but unfortunately she misses. Kuvera starts spamming liquid attacks going 0 for 9 and I'm not gonna bring up who this reminds me of. She blocks the fire blast clean as hell and then she moves that shit to the side to block the other one. Cora just like alright okay I see you now get the fuck back. Yeah, not even the armor can stop the pain. She slides down, somehow throws this metal plate at her, but Korra ducks under it and hits her with the Black Widow move. Like, come on, bro, this shit one to one. Damn, I kind of wonder how Black Widow feels about it. Let's ask her. After sending her away, she sends her in the air to hit her with a finisher. Yeah, that's basically the end of the hand-to-hand -hand fight. It ended in a draw. I'm crying. They think this shit Creed 3. But yeah, thank you for 389k. We moving.